Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews with me, Dave the Beer Dad, back again to continue my countdown to 2020. We're on day four, I think it's day four. Yeah, day four, 26, 27, 28. Yeah, day four, it's 29th today, I think. Yes, yeah, 29th. Um, day four, <coughs> nearly at the end of the year. What a great year it's been uh, for me, certainly. Uh, my channel's picked up a load of, load of good subscribers, load of new subscribers. I've retained a load of subscribers. I've done, I think I'm doing relatively well. Not got the thousands, which I really need to be able to do live broadcasts, because that was what I was going to do. Moving into next year, I was going to start hitting bars and doing live uploads from various bars around wherever I go. Um, but YouTube have changed the uh, the rules, and for me to do live uploads from my phone, I need a minimum of a thousand subs. I've got loads to go before I get that. So I don't think I'm going to get that by the end of 2020. But even so, doesn't mean I'm not going to do any any record any videos from the places I go and drink because I will. It's just that they won't be live ones. That's all. <coughs> like I said, I'll be Christmas Day video. I've had a few some excellent beers this year. Um, but uh, Buxton and Omnipolo's Yellow Belly for me was one of the standout ones. I um, I was fortunate enough to get a Pliny the Elder um, earlier on in the year. Again, outstanding beer. Really, as I can see why it's 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 really really rare. I. Um, some of the brew dog stuff I've drank has been excellent. Some of the pressure drop stuff has been outstandingly good. <coughs> um, Domino Topple is one that springs to mind from pressure drop. Again, a beautifully solid, well made beer. I'm pretty sure it was a New England IPA. I think maybe a double. I'm not sure. I can't stop me. I don't know. Can't remember. Um, cracking on with the fanzine. They've been they've been sort of hit and miss, but more hit than miss for me. Hopefully, moving on again into 2020, these will pick up and we'll get some really good stuff. Um, Brew Dogs Paradox, hope they continue doing the Paradox series. Again, I know there's a few Brew Dog things going on, but again, Brew Dog Paradox. I would like Cloudwater to kind of step up and do some, some punchy stuff again, instead of just experiment with all these micro and small batch brews. Wonder Beyond, for me, one of the kings of the of the high-end ABVs. They've just got everything I've had from them. It's been an absolute treat to drink, and I do thank, thank all them. Um, like I said again, like I said on the video, while I'm in the mood for thanks, I thank all my subscribers, um, the ones who are still with me, the ones who have newly started following me since Christmas, um, people who buy me beer, people who donate me beer, they're the shops I buy the beer from, I do appreciate every one of you, and I do thank you. So, enough rambling on, it's two minutes in, um, beers are here to pick one for this <coughs> countdown video. I've added a few more because I've got some stuff out of uh, out of the Mighty Bartons at the weekend. I'll just run through what I've got so you can see that I've added them to the, to the range. I've got a pressure drop and that's their one good reason. And this is a New England style, uh, New England pale ale uh, with honey and rye. That looks quite nice. I do like a passe, I do like pressure drop beers. I, I got the other two Cloudwater, the Voting beers. Um, one is 6.8. And the other one is 5.5, .5 and they are the Blood Orange and Passion Fruit Sour. And this one is a Muteku Southern Cross New Zealand Cascade Double Dry Hop IPA. So they're in the lineup to be to be done. And I've got this, and I don't know if anyone's seen this before, and if they have, please put a comment below. Uh, Ladder Bush, No More, Imperial Stout. Um, this is based on a Grand Pose Raven, but that label is stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, I'm not sure the ABV on this one is. I couldn't find it. Just at first glance, so that's a good look. It's probably on there somewhere, I just can't see it. But there you go, so that's on there as well. So like I say, they've been added to this collection that I've got and what I've been working through. Two, four, six, eight, ten beers. Let's go pick one, let's do a review. So, you've got Paradox Isle, the La Bouche, the, the La de Bouche, the Bosch, the two abstract beers, the Ten Ton Truck, Three Years Dinner, and I had the Three Years Dessert on Christmas Day. There is another one of these, Three Years Aperitif, um, the Pressure Drop Slumber, the Two Cloud Water, and there is another Pressure Drop, one good reason, the um, New England Pale Ale that I've just been talking about. So what am I going to review? <coughs> I'm going to review Ten Ton Truck Vietnamese Coffee Edition. Okay, so there it is. 
10 ton truck a Vietnamese coffee. This was actually one of the fanzines and I've reviewed this before. It was in fanzine number nine and I reviewed it way back at beer review 399. If you want to check that out, please feel free. I'm sat just over there. I am facing the wall. Um, it was a, it was in the fanzine. It was, I think it was the second, maybe the third of the 10 truck series. <coughs> the 10 ton truck, then there was a, a forest, black forest scatter one and the coffee one. I'm not sure which order those two came. I think it was the this one, then the forest scatter with the black forest edition. At the time, this was a 10% beer. This one weighs in at 10.2, so they've added 0.2% alcohol in this beer. And there it is. This one is available on the website. I got this in the um, Equity for Punk um, box, by the box. So I've watched the review just to see how, how it went. And if I'm being honest with you, I was probably a little bit puddled when I drank it. Um, I think I'd done a fair old few that day. There was an Elvis Hammer was on there as well, and there was another one, but I think I'd done them all basically back to back. So, Imperial Coffee Stout. Let's pop it open. Let's pop it top. See what we've got. See what I didn't tell you. I didn't tell you what the uh, expiry date is, or the best before date. Let's get this in a bottle. And then we'll, in the glass, then we'll, we'll look at the bottle. Best before on this one is the 19th of the 3rd, 24. It says so there. Right, so beer in the glass, what have we got? Jet black. Jet, it looks like engine oil. Jet black, there's no head. Well, there was, what there was was a deep tan, it's now gone. Um, there's no floaters, no light getting into that. It looks like a still Coca Cola, Pepsi. Dandelion and Beardock type fizzy pop drink. So, looks good. I would have liked a bit of a creamier head, I must admit. Well, let's get a nose see what we can smell. <coughs> Coffee right up front. Roasted malts. Coffee. Vanilla. Bed sugar. <coughs> a little bit of sweetness as well coming through. Smells good. Let's go for the car body and car. Light to medium body. Um, carbonation, bordering on the light side, but more soft, <coughs> but it's small, prickly bubble. It's not rounded. It just it just fizzes and it goes. Um, body's a, it's got a little bit of a velvety, oily, slick feel to it. So the beer slides around the inside your mouth quite nicely. Let's go for a good old taste. Wow, whoa, 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 that's good. You do get a big belt of coffee straight on from the on the get go. It comes up and smacks you across the back of the head. <coughs> that kind of subsides a little bit as most of the malt going from start to finish, zipping across your palate. So your coffee comes in, it does fade a little bit. Then this little pops of, of sweet, sweet sugars, caramel, sort of vanilla, ping, 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 ping. Then at that phase, you're left with. A big coffee bitterness and excuse me, a little film of alcohol. Just a little bit of a little bit of a heat on the tip of your tongue. It's brilliant. It's really brilliant. This is better than what I remember it being. A three hundred and ninety nine review. <coughs> the best part of 600 years ago or videos ago certainly it's better than I remember and I did say then if this became a mainstream beer then I'd buy it I came to read monthly box like I say and I did say I'd buy it again and I will be back we'll get another one of these because this needs to be aged to see what happens to it that's excellent that's really excellent it's smooth 
<coughs> the usual stuff I've got to say now. Well built, well, well put together, solid beer. You expect it from Brewdog being a 10% and above beer. <coughs> because like I've said, they make really high end stuff really, really well. I am hearty bitter, this is brilliant. It kind of just, just gives you a bit of a, ooh, hello. Like I say, no real alcohol, but you get a bit of a tip of a tingle. On the tip of your tongue, there's a little, little bit of a tip tingle, which is really good. A bit of chocolate is now coming through. It's a kind of the aromas are developing in my mouth. A bit of dark chocolate as well, adding to the bitterness. It's really excellent. It really is excellent stuff. So, <coughs> yeah, yeah. Brew Dogs 10 ton truck, Vietnamese coffee. This is, ends up being a re review, to be fair. Okay, do I like it? Yes. Would I buy it if it became a mainstream beer? I said this on the review through the 99. Yes, I would, and I've done it again. So, yes, I'd still buy this again. It's excellent. Recommend it to friends. God, God, yeah, this is great. It really is good. To so anyone who's watching, who's my friend, I go to Brewdog, go to the website, pick it up because I know it's on the website. Okay. If you've had this beer, let me know what you think, please. Put a little comment below. There'll be a link to the Brewdog website below. Also, below where you can uh, buy this beer. Um, if you like the video, give me the thumbs up. If you like the video, give me the thumbs down. And I will see you on the next one for the next. Countdown to 2020. It's nearly here. End of the decade. Hey, Leo. Happy drinking.